root canals kind of get a bad name you know it in the american public we're having a paradigm shift in our industry over the last five years especially and probably 10 as far as root canal versus implants we probably oversold root canals people think when we do dentistry it's going to last a long time root canals there's a real wide variance on how long they will last so i think we need to do a better job in our industry relating that to the patient. And if they come in with the, the more the infection, the d more difficult the root canal will be. So if they come in with what we call, really not in any pain, but just a periapical abscess, just an infection at the end of the root of their tooth, they're very simple. People are scared that this is gonna hurt and this and that, but nowadays with the methods that we use, they're very innocuous. They're actually a lot easier than any type of removing a tooth by far. But if there's more infection and the longer they've had it, it's the more difficult it is to get that healed. So we try to make sure that the patient understands that. But then when you talk about root canals and implants and bridges, like I said before, implants have over a 90% success rate. Bridges as in longevity have about a 70% and root canals have about a 60%. So we, we relate that statistic to the patient. We want them to understand that you know, these root canals now, you know, the tooth becomes non-vital. And I can tell you a story about a person I love dearly, who I'm married to, that over the years she had six root canals and she only has one left. As the tooth become dry and brittle and, and you get to live a long life, a lot of times that teeth, tooth will crack or break or re-decay. And people don't realize that. So that's why the paradigm shift is going towards the implants because you put a titanium rod in there, there's no recurrent decay and obviously it doesn't dry out or become brittle like root canals. But root canals are very routine, you know what, and so anymore. So being scared of them, you you know what, I, I would say nine out of 10 patients after they've had a root canal, they'll say, you know, that wasn't really bad at all.